The Leander ISD is reimagining its online curriculum and will launch a permanent virtual option for high school students this fall. It's not mandatory, but it is an option for certain students. KXAN education reporter Alex Capriello shows us how it'll work. And online is here to stay and more people are going to want to do it. During the pandemic, Leander ISD administrators realized that some students were thriving in a virtual setting. We're meeting our students where, where they need to be and where they learn best. The district is now looking for around 300 high schoolers to transition permanently to online learning. Students will receive a blend of face-to-face -face virtual instruction with some independent learning. The plan is to welcome 9th and 10th graders this fall with juniors entering in 2022 and seniors in 2023. There are some families and students that hope and are asking for us to continue to, to have um, an, a virtual option because, so that their students can continue to thrive. This isn't for families who are concerned about COVID-19, but for the ones who found more success behind a computer screen than in a classroom. You need actual teachers in person teaching you. Leander mom, Leslie Venegas, pulled her daughter out of LISD this year. Virtual learning was just too complicated. She says if the district is going through with this plan, she hopes the curriculum will provide adequate time for students to get personalized instruction. Kids need a person there instead of just a Zoom, even if it's a one-on-one -on -one Zoom. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Leander ISD families will get a survey in the next two weeks. It's meant to gauge interest in the program. Students are selected based on a lottery in April. Since 2009, students have been able to learn remotely through the Texas Virtual School Network. Students are eligible if they were enrolled in Texas public schools the year before, if they have a military parent deployed or transferred, or if the student is in the state's care. The students still need to meet state testing standards. The pandemic has dramatically increased online learning. The Census Department found nearly 93% of households with school-aged children learned remotely from home at some point. The report also found that there was a clear divide along socioeconomic lines. Children from households with a higher income were more likely to use online resources and less likely to use paper materials sent home from school. It's one of the underlying reasons behind Governor Greg Abbott's announcement during last night's State of the State address. He made broadband internet access one of his emergency items for this legislative session to help ease this digital gap. You can see the governor's full address on our website, kxan.com, including a breakdown of what this means for you.